Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to prove that uh, A union B complement equals to A complement in partition B complement. And I'll be proving using the Morgan's law because you can actually use the Morgan's law to prove any set properties as far as set theory is concerned. But before I proceed, I want you guys to understand thing, um, two things here. If we have something like this, this is a union of two sets. It is also known as what as or. If you have something like this, this is intersection of two sets. It is also known as what as and. She gets. And if you have something like this, this is also known as what is a member, or belong to. You can call this belong to or is a member. So if you have something like this, guess that is not a member, right? You are very good. Now let's move on. You are giving A union B complement equals to A complement intersection B complement. Then using the Morgan's law, I'm going to assume that this, I'll say, let X be a member of A union B complement. Can you see that? Let S be a member of A union B complement. Therefore, if S is a member of A union B complement, that shows that S is not a member of what? Of A union B. Can you see? S is not a member of A union B. Then the next case, I can actually say S is not a member of A and X is not a member of what? Of B. If S is not a member of A and S is not a member of B, that means S is a member of A and S is a member of B. Can you see now? It's very simple. Um, actually, of A complement and also of B what complement. If X is not a member of A, is not a member of A, and S is not a member of B, that means X is a member of A complement and S is a member of what of B complement. And what that would be, I told you guys that. This and means what intersection. So I can just say X is a member of what of A and A complement and what and X is a member of what of B complement. Then I will replace this with what with my intersection sign. That means I will have what I have X is a member of what of A complement and B complement. Can you see this now? So I already proved that. X is a member of A union B complement, and also S is a member of what A complement is intersection B. Prove rigorously that A intersection B complement or complement equals to A complement union B complement. Using the same procedure, I'm following the same um, the Morgan's law. Here, we are, I'm going to represent my X. Let X be a member of A intersection B complement. Then, if X is a member of A intersection B complement, that means S cannot be a member, it's not a member of what? A intersection B. Right? So, if X is not a member of A intersection B, then I can just leave that say X is not a member, can you see that, of A, or X is not a member of what? Of B. X is not a member of A, or X is not a member of B. I can actually see that since. That means X is a member of A complement or X is a member of B complement. Can you see this now? Very simple. Then all, our all means what? Junior. Then you can actually see that X is a member of A complement or what? Or B complement. Therefore, X is a member of A complement union B Compliments. Cancer is very simple. Since I've already represented my, uh, my X to be a member of A intersection B complement, which is this, then that means X must also be a member of what? Of this, which is this. Very simple. So kindly like and share my videos and do well to subscribe as well. Thanks for